I'm Ashton Addison from Event Chain for Investment Pitch Media and FinTech News Network. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Krissa McFarlane, the founder and CEO of Patientory. Krissa, welcome to the show. It's a pleasure to have you here today. Thank you for having me, Ashton. You're very welcome. I love if we can kick off the show by having yourself give some background on how you got into the med tech space and how you entered that, integrated that with blockchain to start Patientory. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, my background is in health IT, um, started out in health IT consultant, did a lot of the early EMR implementations in the mid tier um, health systems, then went on to help, you know, manage and, and build a telemedicine company, um, which, you know, you know, telemedicine, you know, is not truly effective unless we have access to patient data, which is mm -hmm. one of our biggest problems today um, to really provide efficient healthcare delivery. So, you know, decided to merge the two, you know, pretty an early adopter of the blockchain and, and crypto industry. And it made sense from a security standpoint for it to, you know, merge with the health industry as well. Definitely. So Patientory, it involves, you know, medical personal information and it also involves blockchain. If you could give a high level overview of, you know, what is Patientory, what are the goals and what are the solutions that you're providing in the industry? Yeah, well, just to clarify, Patientory is, is a health IT um, population health management software um, that actually runs on the P-Toy Matrix blockchain network. So that's the underlying technology or blockchain infrastructure that our healthcare software uses to access data. Mm -hmm. um, we're focused on population health management in the form of, you know, really utilizing algorithms and AI to predict um, high risk patient populations and how to really, um, with this analytics, how to take proactive measures um, for health systems and, and employer organizations and larger organizations, for a matter of fact, in providing quality um, health services. Mm -hmm. Great. And what are the main problems that you, you see in the health industry right now that you're targeting? Yeah, you know, when we first started the company, we were really looking at targeting the rising epidemic, um, especially in the U.S. So at the time, the, the company back in 2016, you know, over 40 percent of American adults had one or more chronic illnesses. Um, and the fact that we don't have a, an actual infrastructure in place to be able to manage this um, was the opportunity we saw in utilizing blockchain to provide that data inter interoperability that does not exist today, especially as we continue to digitize medicine mm -hmm. um, and start to digitize data. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned that you worked in health data and you worked with EMRs, which are electronic medical records. Can you talk about how Patientory maybe is similar to EMRs and, and how is it different? Yeah, so um, our software and the P2A Matrix blockchain is not an electronic medical record. Um, I would say think of it as a bridge that would connect electronic medical records um, to, to talk to each other. So typically an electronic medical record system deals with practice management, um, you know, they're large legacy infrastructures that um, ingest anything from like, you know, results, and you know, helping physicians actually schedule appointments for patients, mm -hmm. I would say our system would be more considered a host for all of this information mm -hmm. that is produced by an electronic medical record. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you said that Patientory started fairly early on in terms of gr the growth of the blockchain industry. Could you talk about when you started um, how it's been growing and what does the status of the application look like today? Yeah, so the company was started in 2015. Um, we created our white paper in late 2016 and, you know, conducted an ICO through our foundation, which currently governs the um, overall p matrix blockchain, HIPAA compliant blockchain network. Um, to date, we have over 900 storage node um, host subscribers um, who act as nodes um, to to support the P Toy Matrix blockchain, um, and to date we have over forty five thousand subscribers that are on our waitlist 
for the actual the application um, that's built on this blockchain. Hmm. Very interesting. In healthcare, yeah, in healthcare, we are start. You know, back in 2019, we started to see more of the larger health systems mm -hmm. um, start to build up. You know, their healthcare practices um, and start to pilot the technology. Mm -hmm. And this is something that more so is complementary to existing health systems rather than disrupting and, and a competitor to them. Would you say? Oh yeah, of course. We're definitely not disrupting you know or competing with any of the health systems mm -hmm. and but it's there to complement them you know their delivery mm -hmm. cut costs um and make you know just healthcare outcomes more mm -hmm. more efficient i'm curious about the the blockchain part with the ptoy matrix blockchain um having your own blockchain infrastructure can have its advantages but as well disadvantages did you, from the beginning, see the need to create something that was uh, a, an entity on its own as opposed to utilizing a more popular blockchain like Ethereum or another smart contract platform? So the blockchain is built on, it's actually a private permission fork of Ethereum. So, you know, the, the token we issued is actually issued on the Ethereum mainnet mm -hmm. and then at the actual network that connects, you know, a lot of these secure HIPAA compliant healthcare databases mm -hmm. um, is actually, you know, built off of Ethereum code. Okay, <laughs> that's really interesting. And because medical data and personal, personal medical information is obviously prone to a lot of privacy laws, um, and making sure that people's information is secure. Is Patientory taking extra precautions to follow, uh, you know, protecting people's personal information that use the application? Yeah, so the, you know, we have a standard here in the States, which I think it's the most highly regulated standard in secure and healthcare data, which is, is HIPAA. It's the Health Insurance and Portability and Accountability Act. Um, which is put in place actually by our federal government to secure um, and ensure the security of private health information, mm -hmm. which the platform is compliant with. And then we're also GDPR compliant. Um, and, you know, we've built the platform, which is why it's a modified and it's private um, with a lot of cryptography and, and encryption mechanisms to make this data safe um, as possible. Mm -hmm. Great. And you mentioned that there's 45,000 or so subscribers that are waiting for, uh, you know, further developments. Can you talk about what's in the roadmap for Patientory in terms of the application coming out and the next steps for the growth of the company? Yeah, I would say starting with the platform, we have about um, four companies that are actively building on the P2A Matrix blockchain right now. So different use case applications in the health industry. Um, we are looking to scale that up and, you know, have more companies in the healthcare um, industry who are building applications integrate with the platform. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of our company delivering the software, we have we provide both an enterprise solution um, and a consumer solution, which goes you know can work in tandem with the enterprise solution. Um, and our goal is to you know have that direct to consumer product um, in the market, fully functioning for for users, and then you know, to continue rolling out our pilots and trials with these large um, enterprises. Hmm. Great. And as the application is built out and into the market, what are the specific revenue models that you're looking to create a sustainable, you know, in, in cash incoming cash flows through Patientory? Yeah, I mean, just to support the, the matrix, the network itself, um, you know, it's it's funded through the members and companies that are actually building on that. Mm -hmm. So if you remember back in 2016, you had, you know, the Union Square Ventures and the FAT Protocol um, paper that that was released and, and we really see value, you know, really playing a part um, by the activity that happens on the network. And then, you know, the software that we sell to healthcare organizations and to consumers, um, it's it's a SaaS model. So mm -hmm. it's a software as a service, you know, they're paying annual license and fee um, to use the, the technology. Mm -hmm. Great. And you're also integrating a cryptocurrency directly into the platform as well, the P-Toy cryptocurrency. Can you talk a little bit about 
that integration and how does it work and how does it provide extra value for the users? Yeah, so in line with, with you know, the overall FAT protocol that I, I described, you know, the token provides the utility. Um, so as we see more usage of the platform and more data stored, um, the tokens are is able to really provide the, the smart contracts um, automation, but also in terms of transferring data and just hosting storage data, um, it plays utility in that in that as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. And right now, is Patientory looking for more partnerships, investors, node operators, customers? You know, what are your exact goals for growth? Yeah, absolutely. I know our biggest priorities right now are, you know, more node hosts, of course. Um, people join in the, um, the network and the association and, and provided um, storage space to the network. Um, our D application, so the Patient Tory Inc. D app, you know, we're currently raising our seed round at the moment. So, you know, looking for strategic and, and early stage um, investors um, who are committed to, you know, transforming um, the healthcare industry and working on, you know, really complex and difficult um, solutions to, to, to problems um, in healthcare. Mm -hmm. Great. And if node operators or investors are looking to find out more information about Patientory, uh, get involved with the community and, and reach out to you, what's the best way for them to learn more? Yeah, absolutely. I always say, you know, start with our website. You can learn more about the network and, and the P-Toy Matrix blockchain and, and what we're doing at patienttoryassociation.org.org. And then um, you can learn more and follow up with, you know, our usage as a de-application um, on top of, of, of this healthcare protocol at patienttory.com. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time, Krista. I will leave those links in the description box below for the viewers. That's all the time that we have for the interview, but I really appreciate you coming on to speak about Patientory. All the best moving forward with the application, and let's follow up in the near future. Thank you, Ashton. Great. Thanks for having me.